Georges Augustin Bidot, French pronunciation, Bidot, the 5th of October 1899 to the 27th of January 1983, was a French politician. During World War II, he was active in the French resistance. After the war, he served as foreign minister and prime minister on several occasions before he joined the organisation Armée Secrète. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Early life Bidot was born in Moulins, Allier. He studied in the Sorbonne and became a college history teacher. In 1932 he helped to found the Catholic Association of French Youth and the left-wing antifascist newspaper Lobby. He had a column in the paper and, among other things, protested against the Munich Agreement in 1938. World War II After the outbreak of the Second World War he joined the French army. He was captured during the fall of France and was briefly imprisoned. After his release in July 1941, he became a teacher at the Lycée du Parc in Lyon and joined the Liberté group of French resistance that eventually merged with combat. Jean Moulin recruited him to organize an underground press and the combat underground newspaper. In his work in the resistance, he was helped by his private administrative assistant Laura Diebold. Bidot participated in the forming of the Conseil National de la Résistance and, after the Gestapo captured Moulin, he became its new chairman. In 1944 he formed a resistance charter that recommended an extensive post-war reform program. After the liberation of Paris he represented the resistance in the Victory Parade. Charles de Gaulle appointed him as a foreign minister of his provisional government on 25 August. He was the founder of the Mouvement Républicain Populaire He was head of the French delegation to the San Francisco Conference, which established the UN, from April to June 1945. At the conference, France succeeded in gaining a permanent seat on the Security Council. Fourth Republic On 4 January 1946, Bidot married Suzanne Burrell, the first French woman to be employed as a diplomat. The same year he served as foreign minister in Félix Guin's provisional government. On 19 June 1946 the National Constituent Assembly elected him as president of the provisional government. His government, formed on 15 June, was composed of socialists, communists and Bidot's own MRP. In social policy, Bidot's government was notable for passing important pension and workmen's compensation laws. An act of the 22nd of August 1946 extended coverage of family allowances to practically the entire population, while a law of October 1946 provided that insurance of occupation risks would henceforth be mandatory and that such insurance would be granted by the social security that had been created in 1945." In August 1946, an act was passed that made provision for two days holiday a month up to a maximum of 24 working days for young persons between the ages of 14 and 18 and for one and a half days a month up to a maximum of 18 working days for those aged between 18 and 21. In addition, an act was passed on of October 1946 that introduced occupational medical services. Bidot later became foreign minister once again. The government held elections to the National Assembly on 29 November after which Bidot resigned. His successor was Léon Blum. Bidot served in various French governments, first as foreign minister under Paul Ramadier and Robert Schumann. In April 1947 he supported Ramadier's decision to expel the communists from his government. Bidot had recently been to Moscow and was disturbed by the Soviet regime. He believed an agreement with Stalin was impossible. In 1949 he became the president of the Council of Ministers Prime Minister, but his government lasted only eight months. During his last term as Prime Minister, a law of February 1950 that regulated collective bargaining, and contained a guarantee of the right of workers to strike. The same law required the government to fix minimum wages for agriculture and for industry. In Henri Quell's governments in 1950–1951 he held the office of Vice President of the Council and under René Plevin and Edgar Faure also the post of Defence Minister. 
In 1952 Bido became an honorary president of MRP. On 1 June 1953 President Vincent Oriel assigned him to form his own government but the National Assembly refused to give him the official mandate at 10 June. In 1953 Bido became a presidential candidate but withdrew after the second round. Bido was foreign minister during the siege of the French garrison at Dien Bien Phu from March to May 1954. He protested to the Red Cross that the Viet Minh were shooting at clearly marked French medical evacuation flights, killing some of the evacuees. The ongoing fighting in Indochina had exhausted him. He was described by American Secretary of State John Foster Dulles as a deeply harassed man, and later by a historian as on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Caught between his desires to end the war and to maintain French rule over its colonies, he vacillated between pressing the war, perhaps by asking the Americans for air support, or seeking a negotiated solution. Bido stated that John Foster Dulles, then Secretary of State of United States, offered France two atomic bombs in 1954. Topic: <laughs> Fifth Republic. In April 1958 Bido again became Prime Minister but did not form a cabinet and had a hand in forming the conservative Christian Democratic Movement. He also supported de Gaulle's presidency after the outbreak of the Algerian War of Independence. In 1961 Bido became President of the Executive Council of the Rally for French Algeria and opposed de Gaulle's policy of Algerian independence. He established his own National Resistance Council within the far-right paramilitary organization OAS organization Armée Secrète. In June 1962 he was accused of conspiring against the state and stripped of his parliamentary immunity. He left for exile in Brazil. In 1967 he moved to Belgium and in 1968 returned to France after benefiting from an amnesty. In his political memoirs, Bido stated that he was never involved in the OAS, and was not qualified to give any precise information about its deeds. When the Front National was founded in October 1972 by members of Ordre Nouveau, he participated but resigned from the organization a few days later. Bido died of a stroke in Cambo Les Bains in January 1983. Governments <laughs> 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 Topic: First Ministry, the 24th of June to the 16th of December 1946. Georges Bido, Chairman of the Provisional Government and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Maurice Thorez, Vice Chairman of the Provisional Government. Felix Guin, Vice Chairman of the Provisional Government and Minister of National Defense. Charles Tillon, Minister of Armaments. Édouard Dupro, Minister of the Interior Robert Schumann, Minister of Finance François de Menthon, Minister of National Economy Marcel Paul, Minister of Industrial Production Amboise Croizat, Minister of Labor and Social Security Pierre-Henri Teitgen, Minister of Justice Marcel Edmund Nagelin, Minister of National Education François Tanguy Prigent, Minister of Agriculture Yves Farge, Minister of Supply Marius Moutet, Minister of Overseas France Jules Mock, Minister of Public Works and Transport Robert Prigent, Minister of Population François Billou, Minister of Reconstruction and Town Planning Jean Letourneau, Minister of Posts Alexander Varenne, Minister of State Francis Gay, Minister of State Topic: Second Ministry, the 28th of October 1949 to the 7th of February 1950. Georges Bido, President of the Council. Jules Mock, Vice President of the Council and Minister of the Interior. Henri Coyle, Vice President of the Council. Robert Schuman, Minister of Foreign Affairs. René Plevin, Minister of National Defense. Maurice Petsch, Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs Robert Lacoste, Minister of Commerce and Industry Pierre Seguel, Minister of Labor and Social Security René Mayer, Minister of Justice 
Yvon Delbos, Minister of National Education Louis Giacchino, Minister of Veterans and War Victims Pierre Flimlin, Minister of Agriculture Jean Letourneau, Minister of Overseas France Christian Pinot, Minister of Public Works, Transport, and Tourism Pierre Schneider, Minister of Public Health and Population Eugene Claudius Petit, Minister of Reconstruction and Town Planning Eugene Thomas, Minister of Posts Pierre-Henri Teitgen, Minister of State Changes 2 December 1949 Gabriel Vallée succeeds Flimlin as Minister of Agriculture Topic: Third Ministry, the 7th of February to the 2nd of July 1950. Georges Bidot, President of the Council. Henri Coyle, Vice President of the Council and Minister of the Interior. Robert Schuman, Minister of Foreign Affairs. René Plevin, Minister of National Defense. Maurice Petch, Minister of Finance and Economics Affairs. Jean-Marie Louvel, Minister of Commerce and Industry Paul Bacon, Minister of Labor and Social Security René Mayer, Minister of Justice Yvonne Delbos, Minister of National Education Louis Giacchino, Minister of Veterans and War Victims Gabriel Vallée, Minister of Agriculture Jean Letourneau, Minister of Overseas France Jacques Chastelain, Minister of Public Works, Transport, and Tourism Pierre Schneider, Minister of Public Health and Population Eugene Claudius Petit, Minister of Reconstruction and Town Planning Charles Brune, Minister of Posts Pierre-Henri Teitgen, Minister of State